Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this Enlight video lit tutorial. In this video lit tutorial, I'm going to show you how to keyframe media movement. So in my last video, I showed you how to reformat a video. So this video initially started out as a 16 by 9 widescreen video. I showed you how to reformat it to a 1x1 one one crop for Insta. Um, now, with the Insta 1x1 one one crop, especially if you've had a, a, a widescreen um, media um, formatted to 1.1, one one one, you're decreasing the size, obviously. And in this video, the cyclist goes off the screen or out of the frame quite quickly and all we want to do is move the video along so the cyclist just stays in the video so the subject stays in the video a little bit longer um, than you see there in order to do this we need to keyframe the video so you can see here the pink outline of this um, of 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 the video here is the original size of the video like I mentioned it was 16 by 9 um, and we just moved it along with the one by one crop in order to keep the subject in the center of the screen so now he's moving off the screen and we want to keyframe this type of movement along so we keep him in the screen or in the um, in view a little bit longer so let's look at where he starts to go out he stands up and he starts to move out the screen here so from round about this point we're going to want to start moving the video nice and slowly so that we keep him in the frame for a little bit longer in order to do this we're going to um, add a keyframe to add a keyframe this little diamond in the right hand corner with a little plus button and um, it's got a little plus button because it shows that there's no keyframes currently if i press it what it will do that will change to a little minus button to show that there's a keyframe there so if i wanted to remove this little diamond in my timeline now i just click the little um, minus button little minus diamond and it removes the keyframe to add the keyframe again the start of something um and to add that diamond onto that timeline we just selected the plus button or plus the diamond again so now we move along our screen moves along what we could do is um, this will auto keyframe by the way now we don't have to press that again the same motion we don't have to press it again it will just auto move itself what we could do is get to this point and and move it to here and we'll add a keyframe and then get to this point and move it along a little bit longer and it would add a keyframe again but what it generally tends to do is stop the video and then so there's no sort of fluid motion so we want to try and make the the movement um, in a in a one in a sort of one sweep not a um, not stuttered sweeps if you like by adding lots of keyframes so the way we do that is we move all the way along um, till he goes off the screen roughly there and then we move this video along move it along move it along so we can see him again um, just to there like so and it will auto keyframe so now what happens um, I'll leave the timeline selected so you can see the keyframes as it passes. Press play. This is the start of the video movement. You can see where the pink line's moving. And it gets to this area here, this keyframe here. Um, and that's the end of the keyframe. That's the end of the movement. So that's how you move um, media using keyframes. Like I said, if you want to just remove that keyframe, um, put your timeline over it and just click the little diamond that's now got a minus next to it to remove that keyframe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about keyframes, give me a shout.